Hi, I'm Denise Forrest, Studio PA, and this is my very Today, first video. Today we're going to make this card, Touches of Texture, using lots of the new in colors. So I can't wait to share it with okay, you. The things you're going to need today are stamp sets, Touches of Texture, Thoughtful Banners with the Matching Punch, Sweet Sayings, 3 inches by 3 quarter inch, Playful Palette, uh, from the designer series paper stack. The inks are Peekaboo Peach, Early Espresso, Emerald Ivy, Sweet Sugar Plum, it's Emerald Envy, and a little bit of Dapper Denim. So that's lots of the new in colors. You take half a sheet of the Peekaboo Peach, use your bone folder and crease it really well. You'll need a scrap of Berry Vanilla for your punches and two pieces of Berry Vanilla cut five inches by three and a quarter inches. One for the inside and one for the outside. Okay, we're going to start with our The Magic of Television. And I have the inside already stamped for you with the touches of texture at the top in Peekaboo Peach, as well as the little sprinkle stamp before I stamped Emerald Ivy from the Sweet Sayings, They Say It's Your Birthday. So that's the inside of our... And then we're just going to adhere that to the inside. Okay, for the outside of the card, we're using the same size, five by three and a quarter. And we're gonna stamp the Peekaboo Peach. With the little dots, just here and there. You can off stamp if you want. That means stamping on your paper and then coming back over here so it's a little bit lighter. Like that. Stamp a little bit with the sugar plum. Sweet sugar plum is one of my favorites. This is the alphabet stamp. If you look at it closely, it's a collage stamp. It's an alphabet in there. And I do stamp that off a little bit and just stamp three of these on here to give it a little bit more texture. Then we take the Early Espresso ink pad and we stamp the outline of our flower as well as our dragonfly outline and it's okay if he goes off the edge in fact some artists say that that makes it more appealing when there's a little bit off skewed off to the side we're also going to stamp our banner punch at the same time in there early espresso and I'm just using a scrap of paper here scrap of the very vanilla for that there we go and then with the emerald ivy we're going to stamp yeah see I call it emerald ivy but it's really emerald envy so just every time I say the wrong thing you just know what I mean okay so I'm going to stamp the from us right there in the middle of that and then I'm going to punch it out and it's always best to turn your punch upside down so you can see what you're doing and we're using the bottom punch there so we just get the little from us for on the front now you will if you use a big enough piece of paper like I did you'll get a second one but you can put that aside and use it on your next card I'm going to stamp my leaf and stem with the emerald envy catching on to this 
And you see that little smudge right there? Well, see, that's how they know it's homemade. So that's okay. I'm not going to let it upset me. Now I'm going to adhere my DSP to this top right there to give it a little bit of color. I always leave enough to tie the knot on the top. Give it a little bit of glue on the back to hold it in place so you can wind it around three times, like so. Like that, just to give you an idea how to do that. And with my sweet sugar plum, I'm going to fill in my flower. I'm not too exact on this because I like this to look kind of collagey. So there you go, it's very easy. And then I'm going to take dapper denim and the emerald ivy and just give it a little swish on my dragonfly here so that he looks like a real dragonfly. I'm just going to show you this real quick. See, it just kind of blends in the colors together. I don't have to be too neat because this is kind of an abstract card. Just adhere your banner to the bottom, tie your bow, and you have to put the doily underneath it before you adhere it. Haha! <laughs> You're done! So that's it from Denise Four Studio PA today.